Welcome back to my channel and yes, it started. The newest rangefinder camera from Leica, namely the M10R, is now getting new special editions like we saw it before on other rangefinder cameras. And this box here on the table in front of me contains the brand new Leica M10R in the special limited edition black paint finish. Of course I'm going to unbox that camera in the course of the video, of course we are going to look into the details. We'll find out what are the differences to the classical Leica M10R if the word classical is adequate here because the M10R is still the newest of all rangefinder series cameras from Leica and of course I'm going to share my thoughts with you and if you have not purchased yet the M10R maybe that special limited edition is the one you want to go for and now let's kick off the video. Let me start with a simple remark. The question for many people is why are photographers, well I should say some photographers, are so obsessed about the Leica brand if it is highly priced and if the features you get in a rangefinder like the M10R are no match for some of the cameras I have here in front of me on the table. So I have a couple of Fuji GFX cameras here at the very far horizon. Down there you see the brand new Sony Alpha 1. You also see a Nikon C7 II. I use all these cameras for my work and we also have them all in our studio. So why do people care for Leica? Why do they love the brand so much? And what's so special about these rangefinder cameras? And I think that's a topic for a separate video because it will take me a while to explain why I personally love Leica so much and why I care a lot about these cameras and sometimes even go for special limited editions. And there are many reasons which also have, of course, a correlation with the lens system you get for these rangefinder cameras. And I think maybe in the course of the year I'll do that video and hopefully get more people convinced that if you are a photographer, if you care about pure photography, then Leica maybe is the brand for you. Don't get me wrong, what I just said sounds maybe a little bit like a commercial or a promotion for the Leica brand. That's not what this video is about. It's not what my channel is about. I'm not affiliated with Leica. I don't get paychecks from them. Although I have friends in the Leica store in Zurich, see them almost every week and I'm also close to Leica Switzerland. But in a nutshell, and there will be a dedicated video as I said, these cameras just make me happy for myself. Professional shootings I do also very often with other gear like cameras you see here on the table. Just some weeks ago I did a professional shooting in a World Heritage Library here in Switzerland and I went for the Phase 1 IQ4 and the Fuji GFX100S which were my choices for that shooting because of pixel resolution. Now let's unbox the special limited edition black paint finish. Let's compare it with this other Leica M10R which has been with me for quite a while. And let's also talk a little bit about image quality and the features of the M10R for those of you who have not yet looked into that camera system. The rest in the box besides the camera is Leica M10R standard and in general Leica standard you typically have two drawers here. This is the one I just pulled out. Here is the second one. In the first drawer you have basically your manual, you have an invitation for the Leica society, you also have a voucher for Adobe Creative Cloud and uh, that is I think always the same and then you have here the second drawer which is the more voluminous one and here you have in nice Leica bags all your accessories like the charger, the battery, the cables and of course the shoulder strap, everything you need and that's always the same. So we should not focus on these additional accessories here, we really should focus on the camera and put it in perspective to the Leica M10R from last year. Let's now put the Leica M10R and the Leica M10R Special Edition Black Painted side by side. Let's see what differences we discover. 
First of all, don't be misled by size here. The Leica M10R is not bigger. I just have here my hand grip mounted because that gives me a more firm grip and I really like that. I will also get a hand grip for this special edition here, but it will be in pure black of course, otherwise it would not match the finish on that special edition. In terms of elements on the camera, it's exactly the same. The rangefinder, optical viewfinder is here. You have the three buttons on the left hand side, you have your joystick buttons on the right hand side and everything is exactly the same. The control wheels and no matter where we look, it will match and you will find all elements you have on the standard M10R also on the M10R limited special edition. The first real difference we see in design is the engraving at the back of the camera and here it says Leica camera Wetzlar made in Germany. It's already a little bit fading out because I use that camera very often and here on the limited special edition you only have white on black made in Germany and that's clearly a design difference we have in these two cameras here. The second difference in design reveals itself if we turn the cameras around and if you look at the M10R in its standard version it has the classical well-known Leica red logo here or that red dot with the Leica engraving in the middle of it and if you turn around the limited edition you only find here a black screw and that's something we've seen before on Leica limited special editions in the rangefinder series and in general on rangefinder series cameras there are some models which actually have only a screw in order to avoid that eye-catching red dot which if you are traveling in a not so safe neighborhood might create some problems in waking up and people that desire to steal the camera and take it away from you. Having said that the limited edition does nevertheless reveal that it is from Leica and you see this if we look at the top of the camera because here we have that Leica engraving and it says Ernst Leitz Wetzlar Germany and I think this is a beautiful design feature we have also seen on special models in the Leica rangefinder series before and I think it suits that camera very very well and I personally like it a lot. I prefer this version here so if you wanted to drop me a comment what I prefer this is the version I prefer. I like the screw, I like the engraving and it's by the way very simple to cover this by a sticker if you are traveling and don't want to reveal that you are traveling with expensive gear. The third difference in design is actually the shutter button and if you look at the standard M10R you see that the shutter button is in the same chrome finish as the rest of the camera body despite the fact that the majority of the body is actually black structured leather here. If you look at the limited edition it comes very nicely with a glossy metal finish here on the shutter button and I personally like this a lot. I think this is a nice design feature and distinguishes itself nicely from the camera body in that black finish. So let's put these two shutter buttons side by side so you can clearly see it. So on the standard M10R you have the matte chrome finish here and on the black version you have the matte black finish on the shutter button and here you have a glossy finish which I think is quite nice. Another difference concerns the engravings in the control wheels and if your eyes are getting a bit weaker and you need high contrast in order to read off numbers from a background then clearly this special limited edition with this glossy black painted finish and white engravings on the ISO control wheel and the shutter speed control wheel they might serve you better than the gray engravings on a chrome finish like you have it here and that might be some distinction attribute for some people who have difficulties reading off numbers or engravings if the contrast is not high enough. The lens portfolio for Leica rangefinder cameras is one of the richest in the world and these lenses are typically compact, lightweight with excellent optical properties and image quality. If you want to go for a color sensor then the Leica M10R currently is the best rangefinder camera you can get worldwide and the level of sharpness you get from this 40 megapixel sensor with its deep pixels is just absolutely amazing. Leica rangefinder cameras like the M10R are not really feature rich but under drive mode you get different options for your shooting and intervalometer, exposure bracketing, 
self timer and so on and the intervalometer can actually be nicely used for 8k time lapses and here's a little example of course scaled down to 4k to match the youtube video format At the end of the video, let me do something I've hardly done before on my channel, namely giving you a recommendation and telling you my preference. And if you have not purchased yet a Leica M10R, but want to go for a rangefinder camera with terrific image quality, high resolution, and a lot of very useful features for you as a photographer, then I personally would recommend to go for the limited special edition because that one here is limited to 2000 pieces worldwide, so makes it more rare. And the difference in price tag is only about $300. So you don't pay a lot more to an anyway very high price tag. And then you get this very beautiful minimalistic design you have with that screw and the beautiful engraving and in general a very well designed camera which has the same features as the standard one but for 300 bucks more. I think you get a little more value in particular since this one is limited. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there's always more to come. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy and of course, peace out.